How's it going everybody? Tavish here with part 3 of my weapon guide series for Team Fortress 2. And as you all know, with this series I take one weapon from Team Fortress 2 and I go over it, giving it a grade at the end and if I think you guys should equip it or not, and how OP it is. So this time we're moving on to Sniper, and we have a secondary, and it's the Cozy Camper. It is actually a backpack that, well, sits on your back, like all backpacks do. And uh, it looks really awesome. It has the Australian flag, of course, because, you know, sniper. You have a nice little stainless pot right there. A thing of Gerardi. And more importantly, look at the koala bear. Oh my god, he's so cute. But moving on. This is essentially a passive weapon, in which that means you don't have to do anything to get the positive and negative attributes that come with it. So it's positive attributes. Plus one health per second on wear, no flinching when aiming, and knockback is reduced by 20% when aiming. However, the negative is pretty big. It has a 20% damage vulnerability on wear. Now, if you're interested in crafting one of these, all you have to do is get a Reclaim, a Gerardi, and a Razorback, and get yourself your very own cozy camper. Now, for loadouts with this weapon... Because it is a secondary, you lose your SMG. So personally, I found that the default sniper, the Sydney Sleeper, and Bizarre Bargain were best. I typically stray away from using the Huntsman because of the damage vulnerability, and you are in the front lines. But we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. And I found one that was really good with it was the Hitman's uh, Heat Maker, Head Taker, whatever the hell it's called. It's really awesome because you gain something called focus with that weapon, and essentially it allows you to not unscope. You just stay scoped in between shots if you get enough kills, and we'll see that later on. But it is a really awesome weapon, and uh, very helpful with this because you don't take any flinching or whatnot. But before I move on, I want to point out one weapon not to use with this for sure is the Machina. You can't shoot the Machina without being scoped in. And uh, that's very inconvenient, plus, you know, you lose either Jurati or SMG or whatever the hell you're going to equip with this, uh, if you equip the Cozy Camper. So just keep that in mind, Machina is probably not the best, and neither is the Huntsman. In terms of uh, uh, melee weapons, essentially anything except for the Bushwaka because you don't have the Jurati. So just keep that in mind. But uh, moving on. My personal loadouts, I was going to use the Hitman's and the Sydney Sleeper, just because I'm a terrible sniper. We see, we'll see that very soon as we go ahead and uh, look at me taunting right there, looking at the backpack. It looks really awesome. I'm going to scope in here on Dust Bowl, of course. Whoever gets popped right in front of me, thank God they didn't decide to come this way, they decided to attack the point, as he probably should. Get a shot in there, actually hit someone. Don't know who I hit, but I hit someone. See an enemy sniper. Very cautious of this because I do take a lot of damage. Plus, headshot would hurt. Anyways, just spy checking right there. Looking around. Don't have Jurati, so I can't code him. Don't have Razor back, so. And don't have SMG, so I'm very vulnerable to anything that comes up. There's actually the spy. <laughs> very unlucky spy on his part. There comes in a uh, nice little pyro, but he gets wrecked. Oh, holy shit, those crits. Very scary. <laughs> uh, no matter what you have, but especially plus 20 damage. Be screwed almost instantly. Uh, get the wonderful medic there that's not even healing anyone. He's coded in Jurati. And hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm just going to come in here. Jurati wears off, so that's not very good. Crits are fair. Don't worry about it. But look at this. I was down to 40 health, and it's going up. This plus one health is helping a lot. But I have to back out there. You saw the soldier was there. And I probably would not have engaged no matter what. But I really have to not engage at all because of that. Uh, that extra damage to me, so that hurts. A little spy. Can't cover him Jurati, so I lose track of him, but like a crit, and, uh, well, he just walks right into it. Or I walk right into it. Don't know who's the cause of that, but no matter what, he's dead. So I'm gonna peek in here, see that there's some guys. Missed the, uh, one guy, the engineer there. Demo goes up top, but that's okay. My flog friend has it. This guy's gonna shoot pills at me, but he can't hit me. Uh, I would've been very much screwed if he had. Probably one, two pipes would've killed me. We keep that in mind, that's how it is no matter what. Uh, two pipes typically kills a sniper. There, that guy got air blasted, that's my excuse for missing him. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't end too well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit right here because nothing important happens right now. I'm just gonna shoot a mini sentry. 
Which I guess is pretty important. And I can do that because, well, I don't take uh, knockback or flinching while aiming. And here comes up a very important pick. Look at this guy. Engineer moving up with the sentry gun. Probably going to place it right on the edge. And we probably would have lost right there. But I go ahead and take him down. And then, awareness. Uh, definitely a sniper. Very important. I see the heavy right there. I'm waiting for him. And door opens. And I miss. So if you're better sniper than me, you probably would be able to kill that guy. He gets covered in Jurati, but uh, then I take a headshot from the enemy sniper. So we're going to move to different maps, just Rage Quip, Dust Bowl, and let's move to Harvest. Because everyone plays Sniper on Harvest. Goodbye, Scout. You weren't important, and jumping does not help you at all in this situation. I'm going to be peeking, looking around. I see a spy right there. He's pretty obvious. Unfortunately, miss him. Like I said... If you are a better shot than me, you probably would have been able to kill him, but I'm just going to try my best. See Pyro on point? That that medic the entire time during this gameplay, I do remember, he did not heal anyone. I think this was probably his first time playing Team Fortress 2, and probably came from a game like Battlefield 4. Uh, don't stand still, Spy. But, yeah, medic, you're supposed to heal people, not shoot people syringes. Just keep that in mind. But just gonna be waiting here, looking around. Hey, Pyro, I'm gonna go ahead and get all those kills that I need. <laughs> that probably was not uh, a legit kill on that Pyro, but I'll take it anyways. Totally stole that kill from the NG. Looking around, and here, here's the biggest part of the cozy camper. I'm getting shot, and I was able to kill that guy. And my aim was direct, and I was able to get two headshots very quickly. That's why the Hitman works so beautifully with this. And, oh man, that non-flinching is great. Very important. Uh, but here we're actually going to look at some negative effects uh, coming up. Very bad, or very, not bad, but unlucky uh, spy right there. Taking some shots, but I'm going to get my health back almost instantly. Yeah, I'm going to get rushed pretty soon here. That was a spy scout. So you tell, hey there, Mr. Scout, how's it going? This guy's going to get very unlucky right about now. Yeah, he just walked into it. But, unfortunately for me, there's one scout in pubs. There's typically two, or about, you know, 20. So, just gonna be picking again. Spy coming in, I see him, he's gonna go out to the side. And another scout is gonna show up. Hey, how's it going? And I die almost instantly, thanks to that uh, damage increase on me. Changing teams, because rage quit. I didn't actually rage quit, just uh, various times in which I was playing with the cozy hamper on get the pyro kill here and just gonna be peeking trying to get the demo but he jumps up miss soldier as well like I said if you were a good shot you'd probably be able to hit all these but uh I'm a terrible shot I never play sniper to be honest and I can't even hit that guy but I see people are on point perfect opportunity for me I'm just gonna peek see the engineer miss him with one shot but he's not gonna be so lucky again Take him down with a nice little quick headshot. Gonna hit the demo man right there. And let's go look at the point again. Oh, hello, Mr. Pyro. Remember what I always said about crits? Yep. You also notice that I'm not really flinching. My screen's pretty much the same while I'm on fire. But look at my health. That is going down a lot very quickly. And so just keep that in mind. You will lose a lot of health if you go in the situation where you don't need to flinch. So this is kind of like a suicidal weapon to me where if you're in that situation, you're probably going to die, and hey, Spy, you're dead. But at the, uh, you could take someone down with you, or you could survive. This is a very obvious Spy, and uh, he's obvious DR, just for that noise right there. So hey, how's it going? What are you doing, man? And he finally goes down permanently, thankfully. And just going to go ahead and peek again. See Demo, and didn't get a hit on him. Begging this medic to heal me. He does not heal me, sadly. Like I said, he's just running around with the syringes. I'm just going to be poking around, seeing who I can get. But uh, I'm feeling pretty confident here. Man, Scout, jumping needs to work. But it didn't for you. But anyways, uh, just going to be peeking around, looking for whoever I can get. You know, doing the typical sniper stuff. And uh, that's the main thing that this weapon isn't exactly like helps in any way. Get the important dispenser pick here. Just want to call that out. Uh, who cares about the soldier pick, but dispenser pick always fast forwarding again. But like I said, this weapon, it's not like it helps you tremendously. 
Uh, it takes away Jurati, so that's a major downfall. It takes away SMG, but here you can see I didn't don't really take flinching, and like I said with the heavy, you know, I was able to kill him very quickly. But if I not had the cozy camper, would I have been able to kill him anyways? Uh, that's a possibility. Always keep that in mind whenever you use side grades. Tried to do an awesome shot on the demo, I miss. But I hit him with a body shot in there. So no doubt that uh, fall damage had to hurt. Just gonna be camping. Pretty obvious spy. Again. But I I think I... I don't know if I triggered his DR or not. Another soldier on point. Gonna get a quick headshot on him. And his soldier friend takes him down with the black box. I'm gonna be picking once again. Hey, Mr. Soldier up there. Running low on ammo. Uh, unfortunately, this... Uh, cozy camper does not add in terms of ammo, which I think personally it should. That actually would make it worthwhile. But uh, you also saw there, I did a couple shotgun blasts from far away, and I had to back down, uh, back away. And here, here's the biggest downfall. First, that weapon does no damage. And secondly, I did no damage. Well, I was able to kill the demo man with the sticky jumper that he was shooting at me, but I took death instantly. You saw one pill took me down to essentially where anything would have killed me. So that 20 damage penalty really really sucks. So essentially if you know my grading style <clears throat> I typically do it in like six stages but with this one I can't really because it doesn't do damage or anything like that. So essentially I'm just gonna go ahead and give it its grade. Its grade is a C minus. Uh, essentially it takes away the Jurati and the SMG and you are very vulnerable from everything. And I mean everything. It really sucks at times. You'll die very quickly. So it's not a great up close and personal, but it is good if you're like, uh, you know, on the roof of Harvest and someone's shooting at you. You can probably get the headshot in if you're a good enough shot. And, you know, the flinching won't happen. However, if Spy comes up, he can either backstab you or just shoot you probably twice. So I'll probably go for the backstab anyways. But just keep that in mind. Plus, uh, if you remember, last weapon was Scorch Shot, and I always said it was great against snipers. Well, Cozy Camper kind of eliminates that whole thought process. But you're also going to take a lot of damage, but the plus one health does help. Uh, however, I don't think it's going to keep you alive for very long. Uh, medics, uh, health kits, stuff like that are always very crucial. So essentially, its bonuses are really amazing, but its negative is a pretty huge one as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, comment down below what you think of the Cozy Camper. I'm kind of interested in seeing. I know wherever it first came out, this weapon has went through quite a few different buffs, nerfs, stuff like that. So it's been changed around quite a bit. It was actually designed for the engineer. I was looking up some item history about it. It was designed for the engineer, but it got moved to the uh, sniper, hilariously. But uh, yeah, tell me if you've ever used Cozy Camper, and if you like using it, or if you just prefer to be the standard sniper that uses Jurati because you know everyone goes with the typical I can do this I can do that hey the pros do it and you're probably not going to see any pro uh, competitive player using the cozy camper anytime soon but I like to equip it every once in a while but like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this video you want to stay up to date on new videos and content that I post I try to post regularly but uh, you should go check out my update video which I will explain my uh, upload or my yeah my update video in which I explain my upload schedule stuff like that but next weapon for my team fortress 2 review is actually going to be the Scottish resistance for the demo man which I'm kinda happy about because demo man is my favorite class but that will be coming up hopefully soon enough but like I said uh, in my update video I'm going through college, so yeah, college is more important. So videos may be relaxed every once in a while. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, Nick.